Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night whenever you're seeing this video. Today we have a continuation of our SUV series over here at ALH Automotive LLC in the Lake Jackson area of Tallahassee, Florida. I'll have their information down in the description. Today we'll be reviewing a 2015 Mercedes-Benz GLK 250. Something special about this vehicle. As soon as I turn the key. This is a diesel. So you're going to get the longevity of a diesel engine and you also get the fuel economy of a diesel engine. And I'm super excited to show you guys this one. We'll go over the interior, the exterior, and then we'll take it for a test drive if you just hang tight for a little while longer. Thank you all for watching. Super excited to bring this to you and we'll go from there. Right, crew we're going to go ahead and take a look at this interior first things first check out these heavily bolstered black leather seats they are heated you have your typical mercedes-benz instrumentation nice airbag housing there on the steering wheel metal trim at the bottom of the steering wheel let's hop on in here all right of course I got the hazard blinkers on. Let me turn those off real quick. So you have a leather wrapped Mercedes-Benz steering wheel. Very nice touches here. I like the adjustments here for the seats on the door panel. You do have three memory settings there for whoever may be driving your Mercedes. Typical Mercedes instrumentation like I was saying earlier with the orange black backlight at night they turn orange typical mercedes-benz stuff here i like these adjustable ac vents they have multiple adjustments all the way around you have your ac controls down here at the bottom radio controls here you got push button start right there here's the mercedes-benz screen i would say probably a seven and a half inch screen there it does have let's put it in reverse here it does have a reverse camera for you guys for safety nice touch there the transmission lever is right here on the steering wheel if y'all can see that real quick so you just press in here and you just go down for drive bump it two times up to get it in reverse and then to put it in park you just press this button right here and there she goes she's back in park boom and then it also has navigation built into the screen as well very nice touches here soft touch materials everywhere nice stitching you know mercedes-benz always use the highest quality materials you got dual cup holders here you have a nice storage area here that you can cover up with this nice wood grain trim very nice touch there and then right here this is for the control of the uh, navigation screen very nice metal trim on that wood grain all throughout nice touch there what y'all think and then when you look up you have your front sunroof and then you also have a panoramic sunroof in the back. We'll hop back there in a minute and uh, continue this review. And then these uh, center consoles right here, they open from the center. So you press the button right there. Plenty of storage in there, charging ports, all that good stuff that you need. Got a wheel lock in there for these aftermarket wheels. And it's just very, very nice. So here on the steering wheel, you have um, controls for your Bluetooth. And then a bunch of menu items up here in the instrumentation cluster again. And just very nice ergonomically friendly interior. What y'all think? Let's go ahead and hop in the back seat, go from there, and then we're getting closer to the test drive. Y'all hang tight. Again, we're about to hop in the back seat right here. Same high quality materials back here. Let's hop on in. All right, so first things first, plenty, plenty of leg room back here. Plenty of headroom up top for your taller drivers and passengers in the back seat. For the passengers in the back seat, driver up front, of course. You, one thing I forgot to mention is that you can also adjust your headrest on the door panels up there as well. So that's a nice touch there. Boom, there you go. You got your AC vents back here. Got a little bit of storage down here. 
Got your map pockets back here. This interior is flawless. Typical Mercedes-Benz quality all the way around. You do have a center console back here. Very nice touches here. You open it up, you've got your cup holders and all that good stuff. And then we'll talk about the cargo area in the back here in a little bit as well. Once again, we're getting closer to the grand finale, which is the drive. Y'all hang tight. All right, so we're gonna check out the cargo area. First things first that you notice, it is a power lift gate. You can operate this power lift gate through the instrumentation panel up front. There's a button up there for it. You can also open it with the key fob and then you can also close it here on the actual lift gate. But anyway, plenty of cargo area back here. You do have a uh, screen that you can, privacy screen for your items back there. If you're out of town or something, you don't want nobody staring in the back of your SUV, all that good stuff. Nice feature there. You have plenty of cargo area. You have all your stuff underneath. Nice little storage area underneath there. Very nice touches there. Plenty of storage in, in the back back there. You have a cargo net over here to this side. And like I said, it is a power operated unit. So you just push the button here and she will go back down. We fall down, but we get up. There you are. That's the cargo area. Of course, here is the view from the passenger side. Once again, that nice high quality wood trim, nice quality materials on the dash up here, as you can see. All right, so let's go in depth with these nice 20 inch wheels wrapped in a 245, 45 R20 tire, all season tire. All right, crew, the moment we've all been waiting for, the test drive. Let's go ahead and take this 2015 Mercedes-Benz GLK 250 out on a test drive let's see what it's all about diesel by the way first time so as long as you have the key in your possession i'm gonna drop this down in the cup holder put your foot on the brake seat belt's already on just push the push button start right here you don't have to wait for any glow plugs or anything like that with a diesel truck this fires right on up it's actually a really quiet diesel unit so once again once your foot's on the brake just hit this turn uh, this stalk here with the transmission selector on it down to drive and here we go uh, this mercedes has paddle shifters on there as well it does have a sport mode so it is very well stocked very quiet diesel like i said these blue tech diesels are very very reliable did my research on that and like i said you'll get the fuel economy of a diesel engine of course and the longevity let's go ahead and take it for a spin first thing you notice is that the power steering unit especially in the pop in the parking lot areas low speeds is very light it does firm up when you get out here on the road and uh once again the diesel is super smooth super quiet and no diesel fumes inside of here <laughs> So once again, first things first, the visibility all the way around is, is excellent. Um, I have the panoramic sunroof um, shade pulled back, or it's not pulled back. Uh, it's actually automatic here with, with these controls. And uh, plenty of light in here, nice ambiance. Uh, it does have a black leather interior. Normally it would be considered pretty dark, um, but being that we, the color is dark, but the, the the feel in here is very light, especially with the panoramic sunshade um, back. The mirrors are nice size mirrors, like I said. They do have blind spot monitoring at the bottom left of them. So if somebody's in that blind spot, it'll turn up red. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the brakes here at my little U-turn point. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice firm brake pedal, progressive. Yeah, she stops good. I like the sound of the uh, turn signal sound. It's, it's got like a crisp sound to it. All the controls have a nice feel to them. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy around. Okay, so it turns in the first lane. That's a pass and let's give it a acceleration run. So, wow. <laughs> The diesel gets up. <laughs> I like it. Smooth and quick. 
very nice touch there it does have a seven speed automatic it actually tells you what gear you're in on the uh, gauge cluster here so it has a seven speed automatic transmission paddle shifters made it to this diesel engine i'll have the specifications for the engine power numbers all that stuff down in the description um, also down in the description we will have the link to the website specifically for this unit over here at ALH Automotive LLC Tallahassee Florida and we'll have the link to their um, credit application online credit application so you can go ahead and knock all those steps out before you get to the dealership get pre-approved it's trying to make everything more quicker and efficient for the customers and for the general public and go from there yeah super quiet especially with the profile more of an upright profile uh, nice ride quality like I said in the parking lot the power steering has a light feel to it out here on the road it's got a nice firm feel to it and uh, just very really nice touches all right try to throw the brakes out again oh yeah all right so we're gonna go ahead and put it in sport and see if there's a difference here. Make another U-turn, nice turn circle. And now we got it down in sport. Wow, big difference. So you get the best of both worlds. Like I said, you get the diesel economy, longevity, and the power of the turbo. We're gonna pull back in here. Just wanted to give you our driving perspective on this unit. And uh, it's a pass here. Everything's nice. Nice driver position, nice ride quality, nice feel to the steering, nice brakes, and good power. So, all right, put it in reverse. As you can see, the reverse camera. Oh, I got the unit turned off. Forgot I turned off the radio. I was gonna jam out up in here. It's got a good system too. So just look around, always check your surroundings and here we are back at home base so that being said if you guys are interested in a 2015 generation mercedes-benz glk 250 blue tech diesel we have one here for you at alh automotive llc and if you just wanted to get a general if you're searching on youtube and something that you're interested in and you're not in our area and you just wanted to get a perspective of one of these things check us out as well Thank you all again.